larger river crossing, inferior enemy. So he, he considers the enemy to be inferior. I would say that the enemy is actually quite strong. But at least now they're pulling back soldiers. I think they are needed in in the west for the coming war. I just wonder how it will go for... Well, not my friends, but the German Reich. They will help out when it comes to things like Indo Indochina. Luxembourg has uh, been declared at war upon. Alright, I think yeah, that will be mostly it for here. So uh, they can start working on the Agano class. And start making better light cruisers. That would be appreciated. Okay, let's, let's just let time pass a bit faster now. There's not too much going on, so there's nothing exciting to miss. It's just uh, preparations upon preparations. Speaking of preparations, there are even more units here now that can be added to uh, the nice little army and be transported all the way across here. If I could click it correctly, they would be transported. And click, 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 click. Now they are. It's almost like magic. These divisions really could be used. Wait, this one needs to be changed to Hoya Shidan. This really needs to, to do that. But I could I could do something with these. I really could. I can change them into one army. Uh, they will be under the assignment of uh, Akira Muto. And they will be transported to... Uh, wait, where is the closest port here? If there is one. I suppose here. Finland rejects Soviet demands. That was that's not going to go very well for them. There's only one type of tank designer, so we can go for that one. And now select the technology here. Night assault tactics. Land night attack. Oh, it can be useful. I, I don't know the mechanics at all behind either battles or whatever else. I didn't know them in Hearts of Iron 3 either and it didn't really matter too much. So I uh, hopefully it won't matter here either. So those 15 divisions that will be under the teal, they need a proper color. Green. They're the green division, or a green army. That means basically that this army, the blue army, will not be in charge of... Come on, blue army. Don't do this to me. They will not be in charge of the Hong Kong and the Macau. Extensions. We need to go and show one as well. That will be the Green Army's work. And as I was mentioning before, that using that sort of spearhead thrust to Bengal along this river here could be a very important thing, even though there's mountains here, which is um, prohibiting movement. And then there's more. So maybe actually. Thrusting down here into Burma will be smarter, and then using that and kind of cut off the mountains. I think that will be the smartest one. They declare war on Belgium and Netherlands, so now the war is in full swing, full effect. I think that France will be expected to fall any time now. But Teal Army, you will be needed over here. You won't get a big border. In fact, maybe, maybe that's even too, too big for you. Let's just do that very, very small thing. And then your initial idea, or your initial thing is to take Rangoon. Just push through and take Rangoon. That's not at all the path I was thinking that you would take. So maybe, maybe I should pre-specify that you should initially take something like this and then from here let's see I right click and drag it let it uh, wait that's not at all what I was thinking of and then take Rangoon and there is surrounding it like this And I think most of the divisions will be part of this idea. 
actually maybe five of them will be part of, of this one. So there will be a split. And this other army can just uh, take this part. Seems reasonable, yeah. Horrible, but seems reasonable. So now we have available war gold. Take Singapore and North Borneo from United Kingdom. And take uh, Kalimantan and Sumatra from Kalimantan and Sumatra. Sumatra is over here and uh, Kalimantan is here. I want to take Java as well, but can't really get everything we want. How long will these last? They will last until 1942. So there's no rush. There's no rush. I was uh, hoping to get the whole demand Indochina first. That, dep that depends on France falling according to schedule. Which I don't think they will. Gano class is done. This means that maybe we should do some research now into the fleet as well, considering the fleet will be going up into battle fairly soon. And this means that the pr production of a new type of cruiser will be needed. Yeah, unfortunately there will be missed some, some production there. That's just how things are. We still need a hell of a lot of artillery, we need a lot of everything motorized as well. And still a hell of a lot of infantry equipment, because there's just no infantry equipment available. At all. And after that we can befriend Siam, I think we will befriend him. Siam can be a friend and ally in the coming con conquests. And we will need to add front line here for these divisions their only mission is to take Hong Kong their only mission meanwhile the purple army here the main mission for it is to basically take Rangoon along along the river here like do sort of this kind of thrust and uh, be helped out by, by everyone else. It's a very long attack, but considering these have the mission to take the south, I think they can, they can work together. Luxembourg has capitulated. Good, that means that Germany is a bit further on the way. Now we could change the law to uh, extensive conscription. The only thing there is it uh, increases uh, the training time. Or we could go for, I mean, the thing here with free trade is interesting because it increases the factory output, it increases the construction speed, and it re re increases the research time. So I think free trade will be pretty good. Unfortunately, that will give us a... No, that was stupid of me. Now we suddenly export a lot. I will have to change that. I really will have to change that. That was stupid of me. Like, look, now we need... Okay, that idea. Never mind me. Never mind me. <laughs> was really stupid. Really stupid. I didn't think it would have that big an effect. Um, but let's get the uh, Zero Sen. Zero Sen. And uh, the Nakajima. The, you know, the air airplane. For water. The airplane on the water. The naval bomber. That thing is good as well. Soviet Union white... That's surprising. Why would you go for a wh white piece? Oh, I suppose they already got Karajala here. Karajala. So I suppose that makes sense. German is starting to break through the Maginot line. The Maginot line. And they actually did that through Metz. Surprisingly. They broke through where it, is, where it was the hardest. So I don't even know why they even decided to declare war upon the Benelux countries. If they're just going to go through it that way. And I mean the production here is limited now because of lack of resources. It really is. Which is a shame. But hopefully we can change the, the law there soon enough. It's just... Yes, so tempting the whole research time. 
We could even go for closed economy, should we feel like it. We would still be able to... Oh, we need to be at war. Yeah, we do. We would need to be at war, but limited, limited exports is... That's pretty good. I should have left it there. So I set back our country a tiny, tiny bit. But we get a lot of power, political power every day. So next day we will be able to reverse that stupid mistake of mine. Limited exports. There we go. And suddenly uh, no, no issues there. But I, I, as I mentioned before, I played a bit with the United States. And uh, it's interesting, they start with the free trade thing. But at a certain point, I managed to get so many factories that I needed more resources than I had left after these exports. So I had to import what I'm exporting in a way that doesn't make any sense at all. But I mean, it's, it's a game, so. Can we demand in China yet? No, we cannot. But soon we can. Ile de France is uh, soon not going to be controlled by, by France anymore. Get some free military factories ready. So what should we, these be put under? Motorized? Or tanks? I think motorized. Also because it, it doubles the production with one extra tank there. Netherlands has capitulated. Excellent. That means it will be easier for us to declare war upon them. I just hope the, the navy is ready. Belgium has capitulated. Wonderful news. Just wonderful. I like all, all these colors here. Color coded armies. The teal army. Pink army. Or, purple army. Blue army. Uh, pink army. Orange and green army. I wonder if we can do a black army. The fall of Paris. Okay, so now we should be able to do that, right? Yeah, demand French Indochina. So that will be first, and that will mean we will get f French Indochina, which gives us the following resources. Uh, seems uh, like 38 tungsten, perhaps, or s yeah, and 8 chromium, and 94 rubber. That would be pretty good. Oh, we need more convoys. We really do. Maybe we should get, start to do, produce more dockyards. Maybe that is a new construction project for when uh, when there is time. They can be located in the Koreas and in, in China. There's some more dockyards for, for our fleet. I, just want, I really just want this to be ready. Suddenly the game just kind of froze up. There we go. That was because the second armistice, armistice at Compiègne. Vichy France has declared themselves free. Come on. The death of Rudolf Hess. He already died? The airship Hindenburg, which had been moored at German in Germany since the beginning of hostilities. Wait. Hindenburg was The world is not looking the same way as I remember it to be. Hindenburg is not supposed to be existing at this point. It should have been burning a long time ago. And for some reason, Rudolf Hess was on it now? Uh, yeah. Sure. That's some old history stuff going on. So Rudolf Hess managed to take the Hindenburg to go to Great Britain, which he originally did in, in history. But this time, it burned up. So, oh, whatever. France has capitulated. Excellent news. So they are, in fact, in charge of, of this part where Vichy France is way over here and taking some of Tunisia. So if, in effect, they have a civil war going on. Will it be the same old leader of Vichy France, Philippe Pétain. It is indeed. Good old Philippe. Here we have 17 ships now, so we can turn this into a proper fleet. All, all carriers and then uh, do the light cruisers too. There we go. Not a perfect fleet, but 
it's better than nothing, and we should give them a decent commander. Someone with a lot of skill. Oh, this guy. He seems very reasonable. He also seems very serious and someone who knows what to do. He knows his job very well. Uh, this, this fleet over here, they can be used with someone who is good with submarines. Like this admiral over here. He seems like a, a nice guy. He knows what to do. They have a commander. These guys do not, however. He's an old guard. He's not very interesting. Air controller. Superior tactician. And there we go. So I think most of them have a decent one. He's Abe. Hiroaki Abe. In fact, I think most of them should relocate to something around here. These can have a capacity of 100 ships. So, if I send him, and I can send uh, something along the lines of this battle fleet with the carriers on, and the new carrier fleet, they can all be sent here. They will be prepared to, to go for it. So, here we have carrier fighter. We, instead, we will have carrier fighter zero sen. Zero sen. And it will get one more, two more guys working on them to replace the, um, the carrier ships with new, uh, new things. Hunt and destroy, air support, mission efficiency, plus 20%. Go for it. I'm going for a lot of, uh, of doctrines here, as uh, you might see. Oh god. The Soviet Union is declaring war on Romania. Because they rejected Soviet demands. But they rejected the demands the day after they got invaded. So of course they will reject them then. How long until demanding French Indochina is done? Is it done in uh, a couple of days really. A couple of days only. We have our other, other things ready for action. Uh, are the carriers done now? That is in 43 days. 43 days, and that's uh, quite a far away. Quite a bit far away. Denmark joined the Allies. German Reich is on a roll. They're just destroying everyone at the moment. Denmark, Norway, wherever else, you know, kind of invading everyone. However, the Red Tide is chewing up Romania bit by bit. Bit by little bit. Modify opinion. Yeah, let's make everyone love us. It's great. And even more free military stuff going on here. This is an interwar bomber. Do I not have anything else but an interwar bomber? I do. Is it uh, a tactical bomber? Because that way I could just replace it with the Ki-21. Which seems more reasonable. It seems incredibly more reasonable, actually. Go with the Ki-21 than, than that. Carrier Naval Bomber. Do you have anything more for that one? No, I'm not. I'm working on it. I am definitely working on it. And the fighter. is a new fighter type to, to be worked upon. Made by Mitsubishi, it seems like. 